Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. Um, I'm gonna review something that I got at Walmart. Don's Chuck Wagon Super Tasty Chicken Bacon Mix. Doesn't that look good? It looks good. It's from, let's see if I can read this with glasses. Hodgson, Hodgson Mill Incorporated. I'm gonna put a link, they have a website where you can purchase this. If it's good, we'll test it out. All right, let me smell. I've already opened it. Let me smell it. It's really a fine powdery mix. Okay, I don't smell anything special, but it's just a baking mix. They, I don't think they tell you what you can add to this, but I'm, I'm not gonna add anything to it. I'll just let you know how it goes. I mean, if it was me, I'd add some spices to it, but let's see how it works in the air fryer. All right, one thing I did is I've got chicken legs or drumsticks. I had them soaking in buttermilk for a couple hours. This is my Batter Pro. I have a link in the description where you can get something similar because they don't sell this this one anymore. Uh, so I got a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing one of these. This is what I use to mix all my stuff. So I don't think I'm going to do them all like that. It's going to be really heavy to shake. So let me do one batch at a time. I'm going to put the whole bag in there. But it comes in three pieces. And also, you guys, if you're new here, then just trust me. It's the best thing ever. So I'm going to save some of that stuff for the other batch. It's a nice little light coating. That's what you're in. And, and the buttermilk's going to help like make it a little... I don't know, thicker, stick to it, really. So you just shake it. Or you're gonna take the paddle out of the air fryer. If you don't have a paddle, you're in good shape. I used to have the Actifry, so I know how removing the paddle is a little tricky. Ugh. So that's what it looks like. Don't they look pretty? All right, so let me do the rest of them and I'll change the angles of the air fryer. We'll be back. Okay, I just want you to see what I got left. I didn't even use the rest of it. It was enough in there. So I got this much left. Probably a half, a little over half up, two thirds. But see that? So I still got that left over. So let me change angles. We'll be back. So I've got three, six, seven legs in there. I could have fit probably one more. They're big legs. I think drumsticks are legs. What do you call them? Anyways, I just wanted to show you a vacuum sealer is not only for sealing, it closes bags up. So. So there you go. There's that, don't you try? So, the rule is, let's cook it for about five minutes and then I'm gonna spray some uh, olive oil with this uh, thingamajigger. I have a link for that too. Works really well. I'm really happy with it so far. I've used it for a month or so. So, close it. Let's spray it in five minutes. I'll tell you how long it took to cook it all. All right, we'll be back. Full blast, number four, bottom on, let's go. Okay, let's give it a shot. It looks good. I think the buttermilk helps. I mean, doesn't look like the picture, but that's okay. All right, so let's give it a shot. Seems crispy enough. There it goes. Hmm. Yeah. You guys, that's really good. Mm-hmm. That's pretty damn good. It tastes a little a little saltiness, but not that crazy. No MSG, no preservatives. Fat-free, sugar-free, cholesterol-free. Well, damn. I like it. I really like it. I think the buttermilk helps a little bit. Soaking it in buttermilk first. I really dig it. So, scale one to five, I'll probably give this about a 4.5. It's not spicy or anything. It's just, it tastes like, Jesus, it just tastes like, it's good fried chicken. <laughs> it tastes like good fried chicken. So, there you go, guys. 4.5. I'm going to put a link down below where you can purchase it at their website. And you can go from there. All right. Thanks for shopping. Bye.